Yeah, hi, Atul. Hey, Vishali, how are you doing? So first of all, yeah, big, big, so first of all, big, big congratulations. And I'll ask, and first of all, in your own view, what have you done? What's your background was? Again, be open and be transparent. That's your story will inspire others as well. And whatever ups and downs, and also not just positive things, but also what you, what you found difficult, what you did, what if someone is in your situation like you, how, what they need to do, yeah. please. Yeah, please. Yeah, actually, um, for IT industry, I'm having a total eight years of experience. Uh, when I started with IT career, um, for first two years, I was assigned to non-technical team. Gotcha. So there, I don't get even any technical task there. So just uh, after two years, I moved to uh, um, uh, um, application operations teams. So there, I worked to 4.3 years. So mm -hmm. some of the infrastructure knowledge I got. There mm -hmm. also, we didn't get more uh, technical stuff. They mm -hmm. used us for... Uh, restarting services so restart service some kind mm -hmm. of implementations we did so that kind of task we got so later mm -hmm. uh, i think um, i can i will switch to devops or some other sre role changes mm -hmm. I, I i choose to mm -hmm. actually after that i got um uh offer in standard chartered bank so wow. there i were yeah, uh, 2023, actually, I worked in Standard Charter Bank uh, as mm -hmm. the SRE role. So, mm -hmm. there, actually, only eight months, after eight months, I got laid off. Uh, okay. Because of, actually, only infrastructure side, I got some of the tasks which mm -hmm. I automated, those things. Mm -hmm. So, and other things also, even my managers don't know what kind of task uh, they can assign for me. Mm -hmm. And also, even I joined with Standard, uh, Standard Charter Bank as a um, contract resource. So mm -hmm. after that, uh, they are also not even help me for uh, extend my uh, project duration. Mm -hmm. So because of that, it got laid off. So after that, I I got uh, even I got that SRE role. I'm not even uh, it. It was a very short period. Only mm -hmm. eight months I was there, so I don't have that much task also assigned. So I I don't know what are all the things. Uh, even I I didn't uh, get a proper KT and uh, a lack mm -hmm. of knowledge was there. So mm -hmm. after that only from LinkedIn I found this K twenty one Academy. So twenty twenty four um uh, after layoff I joined to this uh. A batch on uh, I think uh, 24 March last week actually I wow. joined with K21 and mm -hmm. um, after I completed a DevOps job oriented program I, I, mm -hmm. I could able to crack uh, almost uh, uh, 10 of the interviews even I went to manager level of discussion but Brilliant. after okay. that I don't know what is happening uh, they mm -hmm. are still holding me Mm -hmm. uh, uh, even some of the interviews I got rejected when uh, at the beginning level after I mm -hmm. completed all the self courses. Mm -hmm. So that uh, that has really helped me. So whatever I found in the self courses, mm -hmm. so that only they asked in my interviews. And also some of the, um, so whatever mm -hmm. I learned uh, from K21, everything that uh, question was asked from there only. So all the materials was really useful for me. And mm -hmm. now I, I got placed with the emphasis as a oh, SR, DevOps SRE. So well, two, two weeks before I joined with the emphasis organization now. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, uh, I got a good uh, placement with a good high paying job now. Brilliant, brilliant. So first of all, big, big congratulations and thanks for sharing uh, that story because I'm sure, Vishali, this will inspire a lot of guys. A few things. Where are you based? Are you based in India, US, UK? Where are you based? Sorry, I missed that. I should have asked India. that. India. Oh, you're based India. out of India. Brilliant. So just to recap on a quick recap, to, to like you were doing almost working for six, seven uh, years before this, but then you lost a job. Uh, you were working with the Standard Chartered. Uh, then you finally, now yeah. you finally managed to get a job. Which is with emphasis with a good salary, which is good. Big congratulations. Uh, now, few things uh, in terms of you mentioned about that everything they asked in the interview was already covered yeah. the program. Uh, apart from the, the declaratory pipeline, so what kind of a questions being asked? Just just to give in a high level overview and what, what kind of a roles were there? And you mentioned that you interviewed about ten and some were failed. Someone you were able to clear. Can you elaborate a bit more about which, especially when you failed on interviews, what went through and what kind of a you know. Uh, 
what you think should have been done from your side, from our side, for anyone who is uh, interviewing those, how, how was that feeling and what you did to finally you think crack the interview? Yeah, actually, the thing is for uh, for me, it's uh, eight years of experience. Mm -hmm. But actually, I uh, choose only for uh, four plus years of experience candidate. That kind of interest only I started uh, attending at the beginning level. Okay. So there actually they asked some of the self scripting, uh, mm -hmm. same what they mentioned in the, our uh, self material practice, right? Uh, for yep. uh, uh, that. Uh, kind of some of the extension files how you can if uh, actually we need to upload your files from one of the path so mm -hmm. you have to transfer that to all the files based on the file extension mm -hmm. so th that kind of uh, question they asked that is covered in our self-learning portal so mm -hmm. that re that really helped me so that question i answered and um, also, they asked for uh, Ansible, uh, what all are the uh, modules you used so far. So, five mostly used modules, uh, I explained whatever in our uh, material. So, that is also really used for me. And for Terraform also, they asked for uh, how, how you can uh, create uh, that uh, uh, machine, EC2 instance, how you can create by using Terraform. So, gotcha. uh, yeah, that also I cracked. So gotcha. actually the thing, mm. yeah, actually the thing, uh, the people are uh, looking for the candidate who is a uh, uh, good knowledge in cloud actually nowadays. So mm -hmm. because after I cleared that uh, Terraform code, uh, that time only I got uh, started selected by some of the companies because yeah. uh, they are uh, expecting people who are uh, having knowledge on Terraform, they they could uh, able to manage all the things single handed. Gotcha. So that gotcha. is now scenario for all the Good. companies looking for. So these uh, DevOps job orientators are really much uh, needed for the people who like me. From where uh, to start, even we don't know when we st started joining K21, from where to start and how I can manage the things. So that all are, um, actually it's really helpful. Thank you, Vachali. Thank you. Okay, so just I, I got the point and for everyone's benefit because there are guys from a different background. So Vachali was part of, she was already part of infrastructure. She was working as a SRE, which is a site reliability engineer. That's more yeah. about is managing the infrastructure. How do you maintain servers, network storage, all those things, automating the builds, all those things. Not everyone is part of that, but just to understand that most of those questions were really actually to see whether you have done those things or not as well. Correct? Uh, is that correct, Vachali? You were being just based on whether you can achieve something or not. So is it fair to or is it right to say that if someone has a hands on knowledge, they should be able to clear the interview as long as they have done the hands on lab. Is, is that correct? Is Do you think will that? Yes, Satur. Uh, yeah, OK, great, great. Yes, Satur, and, only hands on help me a lot. Brilliant, brilliant. And that's what I wanted to come to point as well. Like, let's suppose you have a two person. One person has done only the certification, but not done the hands on labs. And second person has only done the hands-on lab and, the, and and understand the concepts well and can prepare your resume. Do you think, in your view, again, I'm trying to be neutral and don't uh, change because, uh, this answer because of me or anyone. Which one do you think will be able to clear the interview or get a job? Is it the first one who has just done the certification or second person who has not done the certification but done the hands-on lab and the, and the project work? Yeah, oh, actually, the thing is uh, both required. Uh, both required. For clearing certification and... Uh, um uh doing hands on first okay. we can concentrate on hands on so that we can uh, start uh, to clear the most of the interviews later if we are uh, getting something certified then our profile will be uh, getting priorities by most of the companies so Brilliant. that is also plus and this is also plus Brilliant. So, so let's suppose if you have to pick only one, let's suppose you can either do certification or do hands-on lab because again, I wanted to, the reason why I'm bringing this is because focus is very important thing. What I've noticed is, and again, I, I have a coach uh, who charge a lot of money to me from me uh, just because to keep me, uh, you know, accountable. And one thing I've learned is focus. We only have 24 hours and we want to focus on one thing first to get the result and then once we have achieved that then move on to the second one so that's why i'm saying if you have only option between one which is a hands-on lab versus certification which one do you pick first 
Yeah, first I will pick uh, hands on. Yeah, no, again, uh, that's okay. Hands Thank you very much. Hands on labs. Hands on labs, and yeah, okay, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, because we need to consider financial wise also. So I can choose first uh, hands on labs. Then I I started to crack the interviews. Then uh, once I place into some of the organization, later I can achieve certifications really? also. But after uh, completion of certification, then uh, then we can export in that brilliant, area. Brilliant. Absolutely. So you're saying that do the hands-on lab, get or start applying for the jobs, but on the time permit, then add a certification which is a cherry on the top kind of a thing. Correct? Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you very much, uh, Vashali. 